Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a thanks teacher card featuring a couple of the new items from the newly released Lawn Fawn products. Specifically, I'll be using the So Awesome stamp set, the Thanks Teacher line die, and the Nitpicky Fall paper pad. So jumping right in, you saw that I had already stamped and colored up my images, and I'll have the list of the markers that I used uh, listed on my blog, which I can link to down below. And then I've gone through the paper pad and picked out which of the papers I wanted to use, and then I'm just taking up some of the dies that I'm going to use, and I'm starting to layer the papers that I want to cut with. The teal background is going to be cut with a stitched rectangle die. The green plaid paper, I think that is, is going to be cut with the stitched hillside borders. And then the the colorful leaves pattern paper there is going to be cut with a stitch scallop die. So now I've got all those die cut and then I will take the the tape off that was holding the, the die in place and this paper I decide I'm gonna die cut using the rectangle stitch die just to give it a finished edge. So now I can start layering up my pieces and start finishing up my card. I take some really strong adhesive double side tape and I can add that to the to that paper so that I can adhere it to the teal background paper. I'm sort of creating a little scene and the papers are serving as my sky and the green paper is serving as a little hill. Then I can take the scalloped uh, stitched paper that I've die cut using the scalloped stitched rectangle. And honestly, the scallop gets lost once I adhere it to a white card base. I could have totally skipped this part, but whatever. And then the focal panel, I can take some fun foam from my stash and I go ahead and cut that out so that I can pop up that panel up. So once I have that in place, I can add some adhesive and pop that right in the middle of my card. So using the Thanks Teacher uh, line die, I've cut that out several times with some black cardstock and I've layered that up to give it a little bit of dimension and then the top layer is a it's like a glitter cardstock that I've used just to add a little bit of sparkle to the card. So then I'm taking some multimedia mat and very carefully and painstakingly as you can see I squeeze the glue out I think it's about time I got a new one. I've, I've just had a lot of trouble with this one. Yeah. Anyhow, 
I can go ahead and adhere that into place and I chose to put it right in the center of my little scene there. And now I'm ready to add my critters. I can snip off the extra pieces off the what would be my sentiment. And then I can start lining up my critters and adding them where I want to. So I'm going to place two owls on the hill as if they're talking to each other. And one of them I add the apple. And then I'm just adding them flat to the card. Because I have the center panel popped up, I think that's enough dimension for that. And then I take the little tree limb and I can add it to the top of the card. And my teacher owl, I can pop into place on the tree limb. Or her, whatever. And I'm adding the glasses to the little teacher owl and that basically completes my card. And there's a close-up of the finished card. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, and liking my videos. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell next to the button so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.